Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Bed Wars Reloaded. So I covered this in my top 5 free mini games and I have decided to do a tutorial on it because it's such a fantastic plugin. So what is Bed Wars? Well, it's a very interesting mini game where you have to collect different resources. Uh, by default you have bronze, you have iron and gold and you can take all of these and buy various different things at the shop to destroy the enemy bed and enemy players. So let's go ahead and create a brand new arena. Uh, I'm going to hop up here and do BW add game and we're going to call it test. Um, followed by the minimum players which is going to be two. So once we've done that we can set the spawn, set the teams and set the regions. So we are going to fly up here to this corner about here and we are going to do forward slash BW set region for the arena test and this is going to be lock one. And we're going to fly to the other corner and dig under, which is going to be lock two. So uh, like that, very similar to World of it. Let's just fill this back in so it looks nice. And let's get on with making the teams. So you can choose different colors. We are obviously going to go with blue and red. Let's go ahead and do that. So BW add team for the arena test. And the name's going to be blue. And the color's going to be blue as well. So um, that's pretty cool. You can obviously give your team's custom names and the max players is going to be two why not and let's do the exact same thing for team red make sure you get spaces in there red red like that obviously you could uh, name it whatever you wanted maybe a custom name maybe RPG maybe uh, something else I don't know whatever you want so once you've done that we need to actually set the spawns for the uh, teams so this is going to be the red spawn somewhere here so BW forward slash BW, set spawn for the arena test and team red, fly over here and it's going to be team blue like that, very straightforward. So once you've done that we need to set the beds, let's do this one first, so BW, set bed for the arena test and the red team and do the exact same thing for the blue team, make sure you're looking at it or it won't work. There we go. So we've set both the beds now. Now we need to set the spawners. So just hop on top of it like this and do BW set spawner for the arena test and it's going to be bronze. Like that. Obviously the next one's iron. There we go. And finally gold. And as I mentioned before you can use this to purchase things at a shop. So you can just pop down the villager uh, any old fashion. It can be anywhere but make sure it's enclosed or he'll run about so players will be able to right click this and uh, be in a shop GUI so once we have done all of that we need to grab a couple of armor stands which is a very cool way of players joining the arena uh, what we're we gonna do put one there put one there so this is going to be our lobby so BW set lobby for the arena test so let's go ahead and add the main lobby now, for slash BW set main lobby for the arena test and we can also do for slash BW add team join and put this on the armor stand. So this is going to be for the arena test and obviously the blue team. So right click one of them and do the same for the red team and green team or how many teams you want like that. So that is everything. Uh, you can add a hologram if you want. Um, I believe you need holographic displays for that, um, so BW add hollow, yeah, so you do need it um, to have that. And we need to save the game, so BW save test, there we go, it's successfully been saved. We can now add a join sign by doing BW on the top line in square brackets and test on the second line, so it's stopped at the moment and we obviously can't join the game. So to enable a game to start you need to do the command forward slash BW start and then your arena name and once you've done that you can right click the join sign and then select your team. So you can either do that via the GUI or you can right click one of these awesome um, armor stands and that will allow you to join a team. Then we can just click the diamond button to start the game. So um, we have, wow look at that, look at all the bronze that's shooting up into the air. And then we have the gold here, obviously the bronze is spawning the most because it's uh, obviously the worst. Silver a bit more and gold very very occasionally. So once you've got um, some of this you can go to your shop or um, NPC. He happens to be hiding over here. Uh, you can use as many as you want 
and we have one bronze so let's grab these you can put them on let's grab a sword as well uh, three gold we don't have three gold one iron there. there we go we can grab this one can run over to the enemy and sort him out like that and there's a cool scoreboard on the right as well so uh, there we go we have killed him there's a really cool um, text in the left side and there we go we have destroyed the bed of the red team so that is the game it's a really awesome plugin really easy to set up and it has some really cool features so we are going to have a quick look at the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the Bed Wars Reloaded folder and as you can see there is the shop.yml, the config.yml, the games folder which obviously saves everything to do with the arenas and the local folder which has all of these languages. It's really cool, nine different languages you can choose from. So we've got the main few, German, English, French, Dutch, Portuguese, Russian and these two at the bottom which I'm not too sure what they are. We have some form of Asian language, possibly Chinese, and SK. What is SK? Um, Polish, possibly? I'm not too sure. But we are going to go straight into the config.yml and have a look at what we can change in here. So we obviously have uh, the chat prefix. We have the holographic stats, which I didn't show you, but I did show you how to get them um, with the add holo command. And then we have various things that you can edit, such as times and team names, just to customize um, how it looks and whatnot. We then have breakable blocks, so you can actually turn um, breaking blocks on if you really want to. We have the scoreboard and the lobby scoreboard, which you could change. I wouldn't recommend that because it looks nice the way it is. We then have friendly fire down here and friendly break, so um, I'd probably set this to false. You don't want people hitting each other on the same team and whatnot and we have the titles which is pretty cool that you can edit that scroll down even more we have the statistics so you get obviously 10 points for a kill 0 for dying and 50 for winning and then 25 for destroying a bed so if we scroll down more you can set up a MySQL database if you really want to we have allowed commands and respawn protection so don't set this too high depending on the size of your arena obviously it can be overpowered especially in uh, some games it's uh, very OP and then we have message of the day so this is very cool obviously we have the uh, two different lines and it says uh, the map that's going on and the current players and max players so players know when to join your server and uh, get in a match we then have the resources, so bronze, iron and gold, you can obviously change all of these and uh, how often they spawn. So gold spawns the least often as we saw and we had a lot of bronze, you can sort of change that to uh, emerald or something or diamond and you can change all of those which is very cool. But if you do change uh, any of these you will want to change it in, uh, in the shop.yml, so we're going to go in there very quickly. Uh, we have a few other things here such as rewards uh, which is very cool uh, but make sure you enable that and we have some sounds and the signs at the bottom so let's go into the shop.yml and in here we can see all the items and the prices as well so let's have a look at uh, this to begin with so it requires six iron ingots and you get iron boots and down here we have one with uh, environmental protection, two. And we have chainmail chestplate requires three iron ingots. So if you do change um, what actually drops, such as clay bricks to diamonds or emeralds, make sure you actually change it in here as well. Uh, you can do that by doing edit um, or search and then replace. And you can replace all of clay brick with uh, emerald like that and that it didn't work why not uh, replace replace all there we go so um, that is how you can easily replace all of them and get it to work so uh, yeah it's a very cool plugin uh, really easy to use and set up and customize hopefully you download it and have fun with it subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time